welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Thursday, May the 11th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And we are following John MacArthur's devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled, Leading Others to Christ, in brackets, Andrew. From Matthew chapter 10, verse 2, we read, The twelve apostles included Andrew. Our main thought for today is, leading others to Christ should be a top priority in your life. Pastor MacArthur writes, Andrew was Peter's brother and a native of Bethsaida of Galilee. From the very start, we see him leading people to Christ, beginning with his own brother. The Gospel of John records his first encounter with Jesus. John the Baptist was standing and two of his disciples, Andrew and John, with two of his and two of his disciples, Andrew and John, and he looked upon Jesus and he walked and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, and the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He found first his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which translated means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. That's recorded in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 35 to 37 and verses 40 to 42. Later, Jesus called both Andrew and Peter to become his disciples, and they immediately left their fishing nets to follow him as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 20. Our next glimpse of Andrew is in the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 8 and 9. It was late in the day, and thousands of people who were following Jesus were beginning to get hungry, but there wasn't enough food to feed them. Then Andrew brought to Jesus a young boy with five barley loaves and two fish. From that small lunch, Jesus created enough food to feed the entire crowd. Andrew also appears in the Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 20 to 22, which tells of some Greeks who were traveling to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast. They came to Philip and requested to see Jesus. Philip took them to Andrew, who apparently took them to Jesus. Andrew didn't always know how Jesus would deal with a particular person or situation, but he kept right on bringing them to him anyway. That's a characteristic every believer should have. Your spiritual gifts might differ from others, but your common goal is to make disciples. That's the great commission Christ gave to us as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 to 20. And that begins with leading sinners to Christ. Make that your priority today and every day. Dear friends, thank you for spending some time with me listening to Pastor John MacArthur's thoughts on this matter, his devotional reflection. I've recorded his suggestions for prayer and for further study and included them in the description portion of this video. And I strongly recommend that you read them and respond to them and uh, follow his suggestions. And until we can be together again to hear another devotional reflection created by Pastor MacArthur, I bid you go in the peace of the Lord.